tragic uh, passing of the nine passengers and among them are uh, Kobe Bryant uh, and his daughter Deanna. Uh, oh my God, that happened and uh, that definitely took, um, I know a lot of us um, for um, a loop, if you will. Uh, it's definitely uh, still kind of hard to even speak about. Uh, but I, um, I'm finding, personally finding strength and just uh, Vanessa, his wife, and um, other NBA players who have personally known him, right, um, speaking about him, um, that's giving me a lot of um, newfound strength. So um, that is really the reason, the true core reason for just the absence. And um, so here we are. And, uh, yeah, so... His uh, tragedy was, uh, man, that was a that's that was a big one, man. That that day, I'll never forget what I was doing at that moment when I got mm-hmm. that news. That was literally crazy. One of my friends called me, screaming like, "Yo, you heard what the fuck just happened?" And I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck you talking about?" You know, man, Kobe Bryant is dead. I was like, man, get the fuck out of here. I said, just said it just like that. I was like, get the fuck out of here, man. Where you got that from, man? He's like, yo, it's on TMZ, son. I was like, what TMZ, man? That shit is... Now, let me me back up because Mm -hmm. I actually am one of the folks that believe in TMZ because Mm -hmm. whenever they report something, Michael Jackson, Prince... Whatever it was, it always mm-hmm. turned out to be real. So when I do see stuff on TMZ, they may not have been getting it all right, but they got mm-hmm. some information that's true, right? So when he said mm-hmm. TMZ, I was like, TMZ? And let me go to TMZ and see if the fuck you tell That's probably some fake shit somebody put up. So I tried to go to TMZ, and it was down. Like you couldn't mm-hmm. get on it. So I was right. like, right. yo, that was my first, it gave me my first little tingle in the stomach, like, yo, the fuck going on here? So I tried it again from my phone, couldn't get on it. Tried it from the laptop, couldn't get on it. So I was like, yo, what TMZ you got that from? I can't even get on. He's like, I'm telling you. He's like, go to the IG. I was like, Are you sure you're on the right TMZ IG? He said, like, man, let me send you the link. So he sent me the link. And it was the real TMZ, the one with millions of followers, mm-hmm. verified, check everything. I was like, whoa, nah. I went to ESPN.com on my phone real quick. ESPN didn't report it. CNN didn't have it either. So I went to, I got this box on my television where I could see news channels from everywhere. Right, right. So, um, you know, from New York, sometimes I look at New York news, LA news, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um so I went to the LA news and I seen helicopter crash, super coverage on this helicopter crash. I was like, oh shit. But they didn't say any names yet. And then I just kept watching ESPN and I saw it coming on the ticker. And I was like, I threw my phone and screamed at the top of my lungs, fuck. Because I knew at that point it was true. And then, I mean, they start bringing up, they start saying the whole family. Then it turned into Rick Fox and maybe one of his daughters. And as shocked as I was in, when the mm-hmm. daughter came, that was like the blow that really just, you know, I definitely shed tears that day, man. Um, Kobe was one of my heroes for sure. Um, mm-hmm. Jordan, LeBron, and Kobe for me. Right in that yeah, order, yeah. Um, yeah, and it just really, really showed the tragic way it happened, too. It's just like one of those things where mm-hmm. you know it takes you back to the Aaliyah, you know, uh, right. situation, right? Which everybody right. was devastated when that happened. 
But, you know, a lot of people are even more connected to athletes, especially one that is a six-time champion, Olympia. I mean, this guy, a five-time, excuse me, this guy was the next Jordan for real. Like, he was the closest. But when I tell you, I I don't know, man. I I don't even think I'm still processing it. And I think when they have his service on the 24th, it's right. going to bring everything back 360 degrees to that day that we found out. And I'm yeah. telling you, man, it's just really uh, shed some light on how short life can be. His little daughter. And I mean, that was the one that looked like him. You know, right. you could see it in her. You know, it's like, oh, she's mm-hmm. him. Like, for real. Like, they all mm-hmm. got his features. But her, it was like, mm-hmm. yo, she was him. So, you know, Mm -hmm. and all the other families, you know, I was with one of my guys in Atlanta. I went to Atlanta last week, and we were all talking about it. And one of my guys was like, yo, just imagine that one family where there's nothing but two kids left. Two kids left, The mother, the father, and one of their sisters. And the sister. Mm -hmm. So they, like, literally got to pick up their whole life is we we don't have our parents no more. Right. Just like everybody, that, you know, you everybody that dealt just, with just that. To go to the game. Involved. Yeah, everybody just, just that was going to the game. Was tragedy, man. It was it was tragic for everybody. Prayers and blessings mm-hmm. to everyone's family involved in that. Um, everybody. Just you know, going to a basketball game and. Yeah. You know, they talk about the fog and everything could have been avoided. And you're just like, man, you know, why would you fly in that fog? But, you know, it's no telling, man. It really isn't. All I know is that it hurt uh, millions of people uh, around the world. And uh, I've been mm-hmm. thinking about Kobe every day since that happened. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm going to think about Kobe um, every day going forward and try to use it as inspiration because there was a lot of people that spoke a lot of great things about what the stuff he was on from business ownership to hard working, you know, really, really just having his shit together to the point where Absolutely. he was determined to win. So, you know, that mentality, um, I think everybody is going to start, you know, kind of acting a little different because he had that type of effect on our lives. Absolutely, and I and I certainly do hope so. And um, you know, I shared with you also that, um, and I don't want it to become a, a, a downer moment because it's not. Um, but yeah, I I think two days ago would be a first day that I haven't cried, um, and it was just like this is prob- this is the first time I've ever cried for somebody that I personally did not know like that, like just every day. And like you would have thought that this was like my, this is this is my family member. And for that, it was just very tragic. I, I don't even want to get into what my whole process of how it happened. It, it's just I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, but what I will say is that um, my sons and I um, have been working through um, just trying to uh, make sure that we uh, continue to appreciate things as we always do. Um, we are fortunately people that um, have always tried to be grateful every day. You know, we um, I don't have a problem with, I know some people are like, oh, y'all wait till something bad happens and then y'all want to be, well, that's, if that's what it takes for people, then fine. That's not what it takes for me and 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 who I you know my family, um, you know we just try to live like that every day anyway. Um, but as for the Kobe stuff, it is very hard um, because his stuff is, is in this house, um, in my home, in my mother's home, um, and year three. Um, for me, it is um, Kobe Iverson and then LeBron. Um, so um, I don't know. It, it, it's just a lot. Um, one of the things that have come across um, just over the course of the time, so today I saw that where 
Um, well, yesterday they retired um, his daughter's jersey because if you, I'm sure now everyone knows who's familiar with what's been happening that you know Gianna has play, played ball, and they retired her jersey at school, but the teacher still calls her name in class during roll call, and all the class says here, you know, instead of you know GZ saying here, they all say here, cool. the cool. classmates. Yeah, so I I I think that's great. Um, and if that's the, how they find comfort, I think that's beautiful. I love that they're processing it together as a class and, and grieving together and working through their process and however they need to. So beautiful. Um, so that's a, I, I thought a great um, thing that came across today that you know wanted to share with you guys. And then also, um, as you mentioned, um, you know we learned that the, you know Miss Vanessa Bryan has been planning the. Um, funeral every single day, you know, uh, pretty, pretty much just keeping busy with the arrangements. Um, I can't begin to imagine uh, and don't even want to imagine and just hope, you know, lift her, put my fire, um, because if we can't process that, you know, it's just heartbreaking to, to know on that end. But, again, I'm finding strength in um, her post, and I'm like, well, if she can post, it's completely devastated, and I've been in a, a completely bad space. And because of that, and just I think as a whole, I'm like, well, I just really wish we could restart 2020, but I know we can't, so I have to just pick up and, and do what we need to do. Um, yeah, and that's, so, that's, and that's his mentality. That's, 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 that's how he would want it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like, uh, well, we're here now, and um, you know, we have to, you know, this is what we have to do. Um which I hate to say that, and, and so, but that, that, that's what we have to do. Um, the, the funeral now, so there's been plenty also sharing with you guys, if, if no one's familiar, um, L.A., Los Angeles, and I don't know other places that may be doing this, but there are funeral homes in the area of Los Angeles. He hasn't had the funeral yet. Like you, you mentioned, it will be on the 24th of February, but there are funeral homes in the area that are actually having um, people sign, uh, I, I, I hesitate to call it guest books, but they, you know, they're signing memorial books or, you know, books with their names, uh, just, you know, to give to the family, to give to, to Mrs. Bryant. So I, I think that's beautiful as well. So people are going yeah. to you know, home, know designated areas. Yeah. So just to sign them, you know, their that, names yeah. to pay their respects. Absolutely. Absolutely. So she'll be giving giving those books, and I think that's beautiful. Um, it's not too overwhelming, and and um, it's just you know that way you get to go to you know, and so if you're in the LA area or Cali or wherever, if you're going to be in that area, you can find one of those funeral homes, and you'll be able to go in and sign one of the books, and then they'll get that to um, the Bryant family. And so the funeral now is, is scheduled to be held at the Staples Center. Um, which obviously is not going to be, um, as people mentioned, enough room, but it's the best that they can do, considering that they cannot hold it, hold it they as a local hold it any other due place. to they say, any it, other place but That's the what I said. It, it, we can't do, it's not, at this point, it's not about, we can't worry about that. This is about Kobe Bryant. It has to be Staples Center. There's no other place for it. Um, so I'm happy that they're doing that. And I thought the tribute was beautiful, um, beautifully done um, before the game that they had as well. So, yes. And like you, I have, of course, you know, all those channels and, and sports uh, channels and multiple things. So, you know, we can fit back in between. Um, but And then so let's get on to, to this now. This is really, yeah. you know, rest, rest in, in peace. So, Kobe, yes. man. Rest, rest in peace. Rest in Kobe. peace. Rest in peace for, for sure and forever. <laughs> <laughs> 